Today I'll show you how you can create short videos in under 5 minutes that look professional and are easy to share. This is another Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Now the product we're looking at today is called Adobe Spark and in my previous two videos we've already looked at Adobe Spark Post and Adobe Spark Page. Now Post was for social images or posters, Adobe Spark Page creates a beautiful professional looking website and today it's the turn to look at Adobe Spark Video. Now you can find Adobe Spark by simply clicking on the Spark link in the description below or navigating to spark.adobe.com. Now click on create new and then video. Now as it says every great story starts from somewhere so we need to tell a little bit about the idea and this will turn into the title. So I'm going to call this demo for spark video and I'm going to click on next. Now here there's a couple of story templates or we could start from scratch. Now it's always a lot faster and easier to get to know a new product by opening up a template. So let's open up a template and let's either promote an idea or tell something that's happened. Well I'm going to pick the first one. Promote an idea. And there we go. Now you can watch this little tutorial and it'll explain everything that you want to know about Adobe Spark Video. But if you've used Adobe Spark Post or Page and you've watched my previous two videos, by the way these are linked in the cards up above in the right corner, then you will understand how Adobe Spark works. So let's say, okay, I'm ready. And here we go. We have the familiar add button. We can add a video, text, photograph, or an icon. Now let's do the same thing as we've always done. Let's go to photographs and let's find some free photos that are again going to be automatically credited. So let's find some free photos. There we go. And let's look for a photograph of some hills. I want to create a beautiful nature video. So let's find some hills. And let's say that I'm doing some storytelling in my class. Let's just add this photograph. There we go. And this is the beginning of my video. Now you can see down below, this was called setting. Now this is helping your students to create that story map of their video. So there is a problem. What could be? What's the solution to this problem? What's the reward? And when I click on play, you'll see this video has a slight move to it. I can also record my own narration. And I can add even more. So I can add some text or an icon. Let's add some text. And we're going to go to the second bit. And again, we're going to add a photograph of those hills. Now let's choose the other hills. There we go. We're going to add a bit of text again. Now I can change the style of this scene. Now you need to treat these as different scenes. I have a split screen. I can have caption. I can have title and text. I quite like the caption, so we're going to go with caption. We're going to go to our third scene and this is where we're going to add in a video. So let's go ahead and click on video and you can now upload any video that you've already recorded and have on your device. So let's go ahead and upload a video. I'm going to upload a random video of some Lego blocks. Uh, there we go. Now once you've selected a video, you can trim the video. So obviously you can select which part of the video you want. Now I want 10 seconds of this video. So there we go. I'm going to click on save. Now what Adobe is doing is cropping the video and it's saving it onto my scenes. And there we go. This video clip has now been added and I can add a narration. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to allow the microphone. Now in order to record, you'll have to press and hold this little microphone and then you can add your narration. So let's go ahead and do that now. Even with Lego blocks, there's always someone around. There we go, we can listen to this. And even when you thought you were safe, someone steals your Lego blocks. And there we go, that will be the narration. And there we go. As you can see, it's so easy to use. Your students are going to love using this. And then you can just keep going and carry on. Now, I do realize that these hills and trips have absolutely nothing to do with Lego, but this is where your students' planning will come in. Now, let's say that I've finished all this. I can select a different music. Now, here is all the available music. Now, I'm going to just leave it at the default music again leave your students to get creative. Let them add their own music. And when they do, make sure that you talk about copyrights. Don't have them add the latest hits. Make sure that they use the right channels to go and get music and that they use royalty-free music whenever they're creating 
video footage that they are going to be sharing. Now I can also select different themes and these are different themes. Now I'm going to go with the mega theme. Now let's have a look at our preview. And it literally takes two minutes to create a professional looking video. Now you can do the same as with Adobe Spark page and post. You can share this when you click on share. You can share it with the world. You pick your category and you can create a link. Then that link can then be shared with the world. Now what I really like about Adobe Spark video is that you can download this video. So when you click on download, Adobe Spark video will render it. It prepares your video for download and the file gets downloaded. So very easy to use. Adobe Spark video, another powerful Adobe Spark product. So the three videos that we've had so far have covered Spark Post, Spark Page and Spark Video. Now at the end of this video will have an end card with two suggested videos and I will make sure that those are the Post and Page videos. If you would like to learn more about the other two offerings from Adobe Spark then you simply click on those videos. I hope you found this helpful and that you can see the value of these three products and use them in class. I would love to hear what you think in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed these videos and if you like these sort of videos, then don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.